At some point during the summer months, you're going to find one of these guys in your garden. That's a tomato sphinx moth. Kind of a cool moth, actually. They fly more like a bird, and they'll actually hover over a plant, and the proboscis on the front of their face goes down in and reaches for the nectar. They're very fun to watch, but they're not a great thing to have in your garden because what they leave behind are the eggs, which will become the tomato hornworm, the dreaded tomato hornworm. But don't worry too much because I can help you get rid of them. Remember, your tomatoes are going to grow very quickly. Don't make the mistakes I have made year after year in the garden. Every year I think, oh, you know what, I've just planted, I'll get it growing a little bit, and then I'll stake it later. No, stake as you plant. These are the cheapest, simplest stakes that you can find. They sell them at all the garden centers, and all you do is stick it in the ground as far down as you can right over your tomato. Then as that tomato grows, you can tie it off onto the stake, and it will support it very well. If this is your first time growing tomatoes, oh, do I have a surprise for you. Suddenly one day you're going to be out there appreciating your handiwork, thinking what a gorgeous tomato plant I have, and suddenly you'll think, hmm, did someone dump a little coffee grounds on my tomato? Or perhaps in the back of your mind you'll hear some of that Hollywood horror movie music going off, and suddenly you'll see a creature that only a Hollywood special effects team could have created. It's called the tomato hornworm. They can grow well, darn near six inches long, bright green with a big spike off their back. They're harmless. They're not going to hurt you. You can just go right in and pick them off. Not very many people want to do that. So you can take the old kitchen tongs and reach down and pick up your tomato hornworm and toss them out to a place where maybe the blue jays will come and eat them, or the crows. They love them as well. If you have chickens, feed them right to the chickens. Or and I love this one. You can create my special worm getter. What we've got here is a tuna can on top of a stake, just nailed in there. Put this somewhere near your tomato plants. Into it, we're going to dump some raw peanuts. In the shell or out of the shell, it really doesn't matter. If you have any kind of peanut-eating birds around, blue jays, crows, things like that, they're going to come, they'll see those peanuts, and they'll sit and take them away back to the nest. But while they're there, they have very acute eyesight. They're going to notice any little movement on that plant, and if they see a tomato hornworm, bam, they leave the peanuts behind and grab the worm. Now also, one of the complaints about gardeners is, why are you bringing birds near my plant? They'll eat the tomatoes. Well, occasionally you will find a big old hole right in the middle of a tomato, and it's caused by a bird. But they don't want to eat tomatoes. They're thirsty. So all you need to do is have a bird bath or some little pan of water somewhere around your tomato plants in the garden. The birds will come, they'll drink this, and they will absolutely leave your tomatoes alone so that they can end up on the table where they belong. 